In this video, we're gonna start a brand new series just highlighting my three favorite websites for that month. So coming up, we're gonna discuss three of my favorite Webflow websites for the month of August. What's going on everyone? My name is RR Abrat and I run a design agency called Abra Creative, but on YouTube, our channel is devoted to all things web. We talk about web design, web development, the process of web design, and the business of web design. So consider subscribing. Let's get right into the three of my favorite Webflow websites for the month of August. The first one I wanna highlight is actually from a Webflow development and design agency called FinSuite. And I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Effin Suite, but I particularly like to pronounce it Fin Suite. And what they do is they are committed to making purely Webflow websites. And you just right off the bat, once you see this website, you're gonna be amazed at what you can do with a development platform like Webflow. And they're an amazing agency. As you can see, as you scroll down, you see this animation with the lion. Man, I tell you, <laughs> that thing is so crazy. I like to scroll back back and forth and see the, the 3D animation there. That is so, so cool. Um, I think that's probably created through After Effects and you wanna create something like that. Um, I particularly don't know how to use After Effects. I totally wish I could. And uh, a lot of times when I create a website, I like to contact you know animation people so I can put some animations on these sites. But as you can see, as you scroll down, that lion kind of disappears and you get to see a lot of the websites that they made. And this one is actually really cool. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm trying to figure out how they created it. But if you look at it, if you go to the website, if you just kind of, you know, uh, put your mouse over anywhere in the bottom, automatically it scrolls down. And if you are in the bottom part, it goes a little faster and then a little slower when you kind of go out of it. And then when you go over here, it starts going up. I'm, I think it's probably just some, um, you know, some hover element uh, and far, probably some containers here that they did. I'm trying to figure that out, but uh, man, that's just so amazing how they did that. And there's a lot of the Webflow websites that they've created. You can tell they know what they're doing. They, was, they weren't like me who just discovered Webflow like, you know, eight months ago. They've been doing this for a while. And this is just an amazing website. It's one of the things that I love about it is really the animations. The animations in this website are just something else. I'm trying to scroll down because there's so much websites, Webflow websites that they've created. Um, what I'm gonna do is, and, and I want you to see this, pick your price right here. I love what they included whenever they, uh, whenever someone wants to know about what the price is. Uh, and it kind of depends on how many pages. Uh, what kind of Webflow implementation, also how many animations or what type of animations they're gonna be doing. So first of all, look at this right here. If you notice, once you click it, the computer kinda, of, it's kinda of jittery. My computer's a little bit slow, um, but man, if you notice, you know, there's five to 10 pages and then over here even more. Um, Webflow implementation, they have other animations there. My particularly, my favorite one is on the custom animations. So if you put standard, you get kinda of just like, you know, standard looking uh, animation that they did. And then advanced animation would have this and then the fit, the effing crazy custom is uh, that. So it's really, really cool how they did that. Let's go to story. Um, and even the small little um, hover animations that some people don't notice. But if you notice right here, that pricing uh, on the navigation items, that is just awesome. I don't know what else to say. I'm just amazed by this website. Um, I love also the personality that they bring out on here with the uh, GIFs or GIFs, however you pronounce it. What are you? Are you team GIF? Are you team GIF? Um, I know it's graphic something something, right? So I'm pretty sure it's GIF. I used to pronounce it GIF, whatever. But if you notice, they see these these gifts and they talk about the timeline of the company and it just shows their personality. It's just really awesome. Uh, um, it's a, it's part of their brand that they're kind of wacky and they kind of they, they they're very confident in how good they are at Webflow and you can totally see it uh, even just some little animations like that you can understand this a website like this takes a, a while first of all to even just uh, conceive to think about and even just developing these animations figure out the content it's just awesome uh, pricing we kind of went over that already if you click Webflow. Um, you know, you see these little animations there. My mouse is like messing up on me. Um, 
and then their clients and it's just an amazing amazing website effing 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 sweet is what they're called and that's kind of the first one i wanted to talk about one of the main things i talked about about for me that attracts me is really those animations and webflow is really good at implementing those animations for whatever your website is the second one i want to highlight is this a uh, sports drink website called Mr. X. I love the layout of this. I know it's, uh, I think it's Chinese. Um, and I do love the, the the layout of it. It's very simple, gets right to the point. It is, I believe, a sports recovery drink or energy drink somewhat, uh, but I love, they have some animations as well. If you notice, they have these scroll animations like this one where it kind of goes up as you scroll down. So uh, animations are great. I love animations when they are used correctly. Some people like to put animations, you know, just for the heck of it. But even little animations like this, those really kind of stick out. Uh, I've, almost like subconsciously, that they people know they're looking at a really good website. And one of the things I want to highlight is really the video right at the front. First of all, you see the product. You know right away when you open it as a drink, and you see what it's for. It's for sports. And these videos, uh, uh, this video background is really, really. Um, good in in um in communicating a message you know someone said that a picture is worth a thousand words imagine a video right a video is what how many pictures kind of the frame per rate anyways i'm not going to get to the stuff about that but i want to encourage you on your websites create these video backgrounds video, video backgrounds are a powerful thing i love putting video backgrounds i think they're very they're good in capturing instead of especially some people like to put like a slider on the top sliders are hard a lot of people that even make it to the third or fourth slide but when you have a video it captures your attention right away and you're able to uh, 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 hear uh, not hear but you're able to kind of you know receive the message that this website is trying to bring out all right and even just small animations like this if you notice those are just awesome and the last one I want to highlight is actually a designer's portfolio. Now you, coming from F and Suite and Mr. X, is a very simple website, but I want to show you some features why I loved it particularly as a portfolio. His name is, and I'm sorry if I am butchering this. I terribly sorry, but I, I'm, I think it's Ojime, Ojime. All right, and he is a product designer. One of the things right off the bat that I love about this, people love putting portfolios, but one thing you want to include is your picture. You got, I always see so many portfolios where people don't have their picture on their website portfolio. You've got to include a picture. People like to work with people, all right? Um, especially if you're a designer, whether it be your, if you're trying to get a job or if you're trying to get a, a, a certain a client, People like to work with people. And I love how we captured this with the black background and it just seamlessly goes in there. It's really, um, just did a really great job. Right away when you scroll down, it talks about his skill set. Good copy, good layout of the copy. Um, I particularly don't like, well, I will say this. There's one thing I just noticed now. I don't like it when you justify text like that. Uh, what happens is you end up having these random spaces in between words. Some are big, some are small, and it's actually harder to read when it's justified. So I think it would have been great if it's just simply the, the text was not justified. I know it is a designers. We like to justify because we want to see, you know, a nice, neat box, but good typography. If you just, um, if you just do it a line left. Um, make sure that you have, you know, weaving in and out on the text and know um, what we like to call it. I believe they're called tails when there's like one word in the bottom. Now, a lot of times you can't kind of control that with uh, websites because of like responsiveness and all those things. But just a general rule, it's really good type. It's really not that good typography. You want to justify your text. Uh, but anyways, Ojeme. Uh, uh, besides that, I love the website. I love even little things like this, like process where there's a, 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 a plus sign next to it and the numbers that you have here. This is just to, doing a totally great job. Um, recent projects that he's worked with. And uh, if you notice these animations, this is very effective when you hover something. Um, a little secret you can do in your portfolio is probably a good thing to do when you hover something and you're able to see 
the title. You have that little shade overlay there. Um, that's a really, really cool. And I know I've said cool like 20 times this whole video. Um, you can see, you know, his career and all those things. And you have these minor animations, but it's a really good portfolio. I recommend check it out. It's Ojime, um, O-J-I-E-A-M-E dot design. And it's a really good portfolio. And if I were to see this, you know, I would be interested in this person, except for the justified text. But anyways, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you have any websites that you want me to check out, feel free to comment it down below. Maybe we'll highlight it uh, for the next month. And let me know if this is a series that you're interested in. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you want you want more of, of just me reviewing websites and saying cool uh, 20 times because my vocabulary is not as good as I thought. <laughs> But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you did, would you click that like button and subscribe? We're talking about all things web in this channel. That's it for today. Until next time, keep learning.